Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Marina Pajic and as a laboratory head at the Kinghorn Cancer Center and the Garvin Institute, my research focuses on pancreatic cancer, one of the most lethal malignancies. Today I will present about a recent work on the development of tailored first-line and second-line CDK4 targeting treatment strategies in mouse models of pancreatic cancer, recently published in GUT. One of the big issues is that pancreatic cancers are molecularly very heterogeneous and we don't have good biomarkers that predict their response to therapy. The G1S checkpoint is the fourth most frequently aberrant signaling network in pancreatic cancer, which could potentially be targeted therapeutically. In our study, we showed that specific agents that target the G1S cell cycle phase, and in particular, cyclin-dependent kinases, CDK4 and 6 inhibitors, which are getting significant traction in the treatment of other cancers, may be useful in targeting subtypes of pancreatic cancer. Using our whole genome sequenced panel of patient-derived pancreatic cancer cell lines, we first demonstrated a strong correlation between pulbociclib sensitivity and levels of total and phosphorylated retinoblastoma, or RB protein, a critical component of the CDK4-6 pathway. Moreover, Palbociclib significantly synergized with gemcitabine, standard of care treatment for pancreatic cancer, in RB high settings, in multiple in vitro and in vivo models of pancreatic cancer. Mice treated with palbociclib as a first line treatment frequently had a lifespan of more than 100 days longer than those treated with chemo alone. And the effect was even stronger when we combined palbociclib with chemotherapy. We also went on to test palbociclib in a model of RB high metastatic cancer showing superior efficacy of various pulbociclib-based combinations over standard treatment, gemcitabine and nanoparticle-bound paclitaxel, or NAB paclitaxel. Again, as a second-line treatment following progression of RB-high pancreatic cancer, pulbociclib extended lifespan far beyond chemotherapy. The efficacy was associated with decreased proliferation, an established mechanism of action for pulbociclib, apoptosis, as measured by cleave caspase 3 staining, and interestingly, decreased stromal activation, measured by alpha smooth muscle actin, in RB high settings only. In 2017, two studies introduced a new role for CDK4-6 in the regulation of anti-tumor immunity, as well as the process of metastasis in breast cancer, highlighting a more complex mechanism of action for CDK4-6 inhibitors beyond their anti-proliferative effects on cancer cells. Since extracellular matrix deposition, fibrosis, and signaling processes play a major role in regulating phenotype of pancreatic tumor cells, we also investigated the effect of CDK4-6 inhibition on ECM integrity using fibroblast-driven contraction assays. We revealed for the first time that palbociclic significantly impaired the ability of fibroblasts to contract and remodel fibrillar collagen, as shown by second harmonic generation or SHG imaging, and bright field polarized light microscopy of picoserious red staining, indicating really a significantly disorganized ECM network in palbociclib treated matrices. Analysis of RB high Fuchi transduced pancreatic tumors confirmed that palbociclib based therapy reduced collagen content and organization in vivo, further associated with increased apoptosis and decreased stromal activation in vivo. Analysis of serial h &E sections of liver metastases from our intrasplenic injection experiments of RB high Fuchi biotrans uh, biosensor transduced pancreatic cancer cells demonstrated that mice treated with palbociclib and gemcitabine palbociclib combination showed a marked reduction in metastatic spread compared to standard chemotherapy. Fuchi analyses of the same liver tissues further confirmed in vivo palbociclib activity and ability to effectively inhibit CDK4-6 in liver metastases. We also showed how palbociclib could inhibit the spread of pancreatic cancer to distant tissues. As they spread through the bloodstream, cancer cells are placed under physical stress or what is called shear stress. We showed that when um, treated with palbociclib, RB high tumor cells became very susceptible to controlled shear stress, making it more difficult for them to thrive in the blood and to survive and spread to distant organs. Finally, we showed that RB, a promising biomarker of palbociclib response, is prevalent in pancreatic cancer and is associated with prognosis in independent patient cohorts. 
Similarly, RB was expressed in 67% of metastatic pancreatic cancer cases with observed good con concordance in RB levels in the available matched primary and metastatic tissue, lending hope that metastases may still be co-targeted with this type of therapy. So what we've shown here is the preclinical proof of concept for a precision medicine approach using CDK4-6 inhibition in pancreatic cancer. And we revealed key mechanisms whereby CDK4 targeting therapy may regulate multiple cellular processes and environmental cues within the primary tumor, the secondary site, and during CTC transit, which collectively govern pancreatic cancer progression. So thank you all for listening, and we would just like to acknowledge all of the collaborators on this study, particularly our clinical collaborators um, at Royal North Shore Hospital here in Sydney, and also all of our funding bodies, as well as the patients who have generously donated their tissues for pancreatic cancer research. Thank you.